Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Oh uh, man, I know some of y'all may have seen the picture uh, of the passport that I posted, but I just want to tell y'all of how big of a miracle that actually is. Because, oh man, it's just it's so amazing. It's such a god thing that I, of how they did it. But I tell y'all, folks, um, some of y'all may already know. I'm going on a missionary trip and next year over in Africa, over in Uganda. And uh, gotta have passports and everything, of course. And uh, so, folks, let me just tell y'all that uh, I never filled out an application for a passport or anything before, and uh, I, I messed up a little bit and whatnot, I believe, with some things. But um, I thought I had got it uh, this past Wednesday, but it turns out they sent me. So check this out. I just want I just want to tell you this how amazing what God did with this. So I got a letter back from the passport people uh, this past Wednesday and they basically sent me a letter back saying that they couldn't send me it because if I messed up something to do with uh, my name and signature and whatnot on, I'm not exactly sure. So I, I was a little bit aggravated and so I called them up and, and everything and I talked to this person and, and so they gave me a number, another number and so then I called this other number and then I talked to them and and they was basically saying well, what we can do is we can send a link to the people and they have them call you and everything. Well, I ended up missing like the two or three calls when they called me because I was sleeping and whatnot. And so I was just stressing out. I was just stressing out. And I was just like, man, I got to get this passport by this time. And uh, I'm not getting it. This is messing. It's holding me up. But folks, let me just tell the amazing things of God. It looked as if I was going to get this this passport here soon to when I needed it and everything because I already paid for it and everything and I tell y'all folks just today just after church I was just walking over to my vehicle and my dad standing up leaning, leaned, leaned up against the vehicle he has a a, a post office bo uh, box in his hand and my dad don't even know he didn't even know about uh, Africa and everything and and uh, it, and when I saw the state of the word Minneapolis on the box. I was just like, I, I said, well, that's probably for my passport. Cause, you know, I was thinking they were sending sending back my birth certificate and other stuff, whatnot. And and I opened it up, and sure enough, folks, I tell y'all, this was in there. My passport. It, 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 my passport was in there, folks, and it was like I was like, what? And I was just like, oh man, I was just so happy. And I was just telling my my dad of. Of like this amazing miracle you know this testimony that God had done when it looked like I wasn't going to get it and out of nowhere it just shows up like everything's all fine and dandy folks that is just the amazing things that God and I tell y'all what I was praying on it and everything God has been showing me this here lately on just let your faith be big because it talks about in the Bible it's in Hebrews to uh, look at the things unseen look at the things unseen as is as if the victory is already here and that's what we got to do we got to let our faith be big and God has been testing me in these these trials and tribulations just let my faith be big and even though it looks like it seems like nothing's gonna work out you don't even see how it's gonna work it talks about in the Bible that there's a way it seems like that is right to a man but folks a lot of times that way is not the way that God's way and this is not what I have planned or struggling or like stressing over a, how am I going to get my passport and how is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? Well, I tell you what, folks, you know what? Just let it go. Just let it go and let God do. And let your faith just stand big. Let your faith just stand tall. And I'm just telling you, once you let your faith just, just, when you just let go and just let God do what he wants to do, he'll show you the miracles. Folks, this is a miracle because I didn't think I was going to be getting this thing up, like until like another four to six weeks. But I tell you what, it showed up now. It showed up at the perfect time and how God wanted to show up because his plan is perfect. And so, folks, I just want to share this with y'all, this amazing uh, miracle that, oh, man, I can't tell y'all the goodness of God. I don't deserve his goodness, folks, but God, because how much he loves me and how much he loves you, you can see the goodness of God once you fully put your trust in him and just stop stressing over things you know because we tend to stress a lot my arms get tired but once we put our full trust in him and let him once we just build like god i'm just gonna i'm just i'm gonna just praise you in the storm i'm gonna just thank you and the storm i'm just gonna get down my knees and worship you and the storm 
because you know what? You deserve it. You're good. Everything's happened working for my good. It talks about in the Bible, in the Bible Romans 8, 20, for all things work together to try our good to them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And folks, I tell you, it was good that I was stressing over this because it brought me to a point to where I needed to just trust in God. When we go through trials and tribulations, we always, of course, I've done it, and I'm probably going to do it in the future, stress over things, wondering how is this going to happen, how's that going to happen. God allows these things to happen. So we, instead of us just looking down, we can just look up at Him, you know, because He wants us to Himself, because He is a jealous God, and everything, if there was no problems, then we, everything just, we won't have to rely on Him. But God allows these things to happen, because it brought me to a point where I just, all right, God, I'm just letting my faith be strong. I'm going to let go of it. I'm just trusting you. And look what happened. It showed up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just, oh my goodness, God. It's just amazing. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And I hope this video encourages somebody. Um, also, just want to share real quick. Y'all, the, the, the club on Ava Pool, amazing. Fold up 50 people, a club to where we just share the good news. We pray for one another. We encourage one another. Um, and like I said, across the profile, it just says Jesus loves you. And I had no idea, you know, starting this club that, uh, people were going to join it and what's all going to happen. But Hey, what are you going to do? God is good. And if you have faith in here, just go out and just do a miracle. just like with this. So y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Um, pray for me. I got to go to Prairieville here in a few in this rain about 45 minutes on an hour bar drive. But going for the Uganda trip, going to pray for intercede and fast for one another. So, guys, keep me in prayer. Love y'all. Be blessed in Jesus' name.